General Inquiries. My name is David. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah. Hi, I need to change my address. Sure thing. Now, in order to change your address, I just need to ask some brief security questions. Can I start by getting your social insurance number, please? It's 111-22211. Thank you. Mm, I'm afraid that's not a valid social insurance number. Could you double-check the number, please? Fine, let me get my wallet. It's 1112233. Thank you. Can I have your full name? Bill. I'm sorry, is that your full name? Yes. I need your first and your last name. Well, why didn't you say so? My full name is Billy Swarth. I'm sorry, that still doesn't match. Do you have a middle name or an initial? It's Billy J. Swarth. Jeez. Can I have your date of birth, please? November 10th. And what year was that? 1991. Thank you. Can I have the address that's currently on your file? 1137 East 25th Avenue. Uh, what city and province is that? Alberta. What city in Alberta? Calgary. I'm sorry, that doesn't match the address that we currently have on file. Is that your new address? Yes, you said you wanted the current address. Okay, I'm actually looking for the address that we have on your file. It's probably your last address. Is it in Coquitlam? Well, these are security questions. I'm not supposed to disclose any information from your file. Fine, try 50 Birch. I need the full mailing address. 50 Birch Street. What city and province is that? B.C. What city in B.C.? Coquitlam. Was there any apartment or box number? Box 7. Thank you. So, we just need to go through some additional security questions in order to change your address. What do you mean? I've given you my name, my address, my SIN. I'm me, buddy. I understand that, sir, but the law requires that we go through strict security questions to protect your account. Whatever. Other than the addresses you've already provided, can you tell me two prior addresses you've ever had on your account? 50 Birch. You already gave me that address. I'm looking for two prior addresses. 50 Birch is my prior address. Right, but we haven't changed the address yet. Can we do that? We can, once we get through security. Okay, so what do you need? Two prior addresses. Prior to 50 Birch? Yes, please. Well, I used to live in Saskatoon. I need a full mailing address. Uh, 12 Regina Road, Saskatoon. That doesn't match anything that I have on file. Is that the only place you lived in Saskatoon? Yep. Did you get your mail there at your house? No, we had a box. Why? Well, I'm looking for your mailing address. Oh, okay. We had a P.O. box. And what was the address for that box? No idea. You don't remember? Nope. Any other addresses we would have? Nope. None other? Uh, keep in mind, we'd have every address you've ever given us, like your first address, maybe your parents' address. Oh, well, I grew up in Vancouver. Would you have filed your first tax return while you were there? Probably. Great. Do you remember the address? 750-something. Oh, I need a full mailing address. Listen, do you remember the addresses of every place you've ever lived? We obviously don't expect you to remember everything off the top of your head. Uh, we do need to go through strict security questions, though, to allow an address change. Well, I don't remember any of the other addresses. Can you ask me something else? Sure, let's see what else we can go through. Do you have a copy of your recent tax information? You mean, like, a copy of my taxes? Yeah. No, I threw that out. You realize you're supposed to keep documents like that for up to six years, right? No, I didn't know that. Why is that? In case we or any other agency asks to review it. Why would anyone do that? I'm honest, I pay my taxes. What was your net income last year? My what? Your net income. Is that how much I made? Yes, that is essentially your net income. I don't know, I think I made about 10000 last year.
Did you have more than one source of income last year? No, I only worked the one job. And you're sure that you only made 10000 last year? Maybe I made twenty. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, but to get through this security question, we need your net income within $2 of the value that you reported on your taxes. Yeah, so? So, the number you gave me isn't even close. Let's try something else. Have you made any payments to us recently? I think so. How much did you pay, and on what date? Uh, $50. And when did you make the payment? Sometime last month, I think. I'm sorry, that doesn't match anything that we have on your file. All right, so how much did I pay then? <sighs> Sir, these are security questions. So? Would you have a record of the payment, like a receipt or a bank statement? I don't keep those sorts of things. Not even an online statement? What do you mean? Do you do any of your banking online? If you do, you could log into your bank account and check the transaction history. My mom handles that kind of stuff for me. Let's try something else. Could you tell me the name of any representatives on your file? What? What I mean is, have you had anyone do your income taxes for you in the past? No, I do my taxes myself. Are you sure? Sure as I can remember. Fine, we'll try another security question then. Uh, well, we've gone through all the security questions we can go through, and you weren't able to provide enough correct answers. What do you mean? I gave you my name, my SIN, my address? What more do you want? Sir, we needed more information than that. Think back to all the security questions we just went through. Yeah, well, I told you my net income. You didn't provide enough correct information. Well, what did I get wrong? I can't disclose specifics, sir, but other than the core questions, you haven't answered a single security question correctly. Come on, man. I need to change my address. My benefits come out this week, and it's going to go to my ex-girlfriend's house. And how long ago did you move? Sometime last year. And you're only calling now? I've been busy. You've basically got two options left if you want to change your address. Either call us back when you have some more information, or make your request in writing. <sighs> okay, fine. Would you like the address to send your written request to? No, whatever. I'll just call back. No problem. Thanks for calling, sir. Have a nice day. Fucking asshole. Sir, I'm still on the line. Shit.